Hey everybody, Mike Spatiz from the Elk Calling Academy, hanging out here at the Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. We've made our way over to the Rugged Maps booth, and this is kind of interesting. If you guys aren't familiar with this product, so tell us a little bit about Rugged Maps, history behind the company, and how this all came about. Well, it started about 15 years ago, and the biggest issue I had as a hunter is we constantly buying maps and laminating them and marking them up and they wouldn't last a season. And to get all the information that we wanted on one map, it would take three. So we'd buy the Forest Service, BLM, and we'd get the fire districts for the fire roads that a lot of times those other, those other companies didn't or other departments of government didn't even have. Right. So that was kind of where we started. And then we printed it on fabric and every year then all of a sudden it kind of meant friend of a friend of a friend and then before you know it, I, making maps for all these different people and I thought there's got to be a better way to you know I don't want to laminate it got expensive laminating something that big right and so we spent about oh about 2007 I knew there was technology and printers that I thought we'd be able to print it on fabric and so that idea actually came from World War II and the Air, you know, the 82nd Airborne, they had a little silk map inside their jackets. Right. And that was the, kind of the concept that originally started it. Okay. So, but you couldn't really get the details. And so, it took us about a year to find fine tune the material. Uh, we, there's literally only one distributor in the United States that carries this, and I got lucky enough to get it and keep them buying it. So, that was the general purpose of doing it. Okay. So now, now you, you kind of mentioned it a couple of times, the, the fabric. So your maps aren't the traditional paper maps. No. So, advantages of your fabric versus a paper map? Um, probably the uh, the ability to do this. Okay. So longevity, strength, longevity, durability. strength. Now I know on paper maps, I love writing and marking things that I found. Still have that ability with your maps? Yep. You didn't. The nice thing about this is sometimes you can even, some guys want to use a dry erase. Okay. So you can use a dry erase on this if you use Black Expo. And that's really the only one we say use. Okay. Um, others will damage it, but you can use a permanent marker if you want a permanent. So it will absorb in the, in the fabric. So yeah, you can do pretty much anything you want. Now we were talking a little bit yesterday and, and you kind of kind of said there's some alternative uses to yeah. your maps than just a map. Kind of Kind of touch on those a little bit. Well, the first part, the first part I like to tell people when they purchase a map is that you you literally take that map out, put it in front of your computer, right, and you look up Google Earth and you start cross-referencing the information that we're giving you right. with Google Earth. And the advantages that you have with a rugged map is that we archived our road systems 10 yeah, years ago because we used to make maps for the Forest Service, sure, and they told us that they'd be actively One decommissioning roads. So, as a hunter, you want to have all the roads. And so what we did is we uh, we archived that information, so you're just going to get more information on these maps. Nice. So then you can kind of look at Google Earth and see where we're about to go. You know, and the thing I noticed, in, in, in today's age, it's technology, technology, technology. Well, yep. technologies run on batteries. Yep. Or they have to That's connect. That's yep. Nice thing about your maps, it's never going to run out of batteries. No. Um, you don't have to have satellite connection. No. So you always have that. But um, the other thing that I found interesting is, you know, then when you get out there, your animal's down. Yeah. So, yeah, so from the point of purchasing, oh. yeah. you can wrap it around your steering wheel, navigate your way to your unit. Once I get in the field, I put my map in my pack and I'll take out my GPS. I, you know, I have a GPS just like anybody else. Sure. But then. I, at, at the point where it's raining or I'm sitting on a place and I'm glassy something, I put it down, it's waterproof, so I won't get wet. If I do harvest an animal and I'm boning it out, I can put the meat right on the map and just wash it off. So it gives you a place to sit down that you're not sitting on the cold, wet ground or in the snow, but then when you're breaking down your animal, it gives you a place to put the meat, keep it clean, and ready to, ready yeah. to back out. Yep. So. Um, so I, I know people have options out there. They can go into Cabela's or this or that to the map station. Why should they come to Rugged Maps and buy one of yours versus going in there? Well, because you'd have to go to three places to get it. Okay. So basically, what your maps, the information that your maps contain versus what they're getting at that kiosk, 
is more bang for the oh, buck here with all the information entailed, and plus how long that map is going to last. That's correct, and they don't have like we we uh, have fires and we outline the fires and the year the fires have burned, nice. and they are they don't those companies don't have that information. So now, what if what if I want a custom map? What if what if I call up and say, hey, if I give you a peak point or some GPS, can you do me a custom map yep. based, based off that? Yep. So, so you guys are really flexible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Generally, we just say email us the point at the center of the map and how many miles you want around it, and we can do that with their standard, you know, just a standard map that we make. Sure. You can do it with a USGS map. Sometimes, even in the USGS. People, they, they, it takes four maps to get their area, Perfect. so we, they can customize it with us, and we can just center it however they want. Or we got a lot of landowners and branches that want a satellite image, and so we'll print a satellite image with contour lines because they, you know, that's just what they want. Sure. So and now I noticed too on your maps too, you have the different color coding. So your maps do represent Forest Service, state, BLM, private. So they really can look at the map and know where yep. they're at. Yep. And, and really, so great. So, all right, guys, there you have a brief little look into Rugged Maps. If you haven't been over to their website, I strongly encourage you to go over there, click around, play around. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out and uh, you know give them a shout, send them an email. Down below this video, I will put links to their website and their social media pages. So check them out, guys. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in and tuning in and following us. Stay tuned. We have a lot more coming from Western Hunting Conservation Expo. 